Well folks, it's Peter back again. It's uh, Monday the 11th of December. I've been away for a few days visiting the wife's family. It's uh, a bit after two in the afternoon and you may not be able to pick it up but the camera is now facing to the northeast of us and there looks to be perhaps like a cloud, horizontal cloud, that's all smoke coming from the northeastern part of New South Wales. And it's not actually coming over the top of us yet, but it's only about, I don't know, 50 k's to the north of us. But there's fires around um, to the south of us and to the north. There was lightning strikes last Friday. A little bit of rain. We got some rain on the cotton that's just been planted, and that should be a big help. Um, the boys are all off doing their thing. We got home a few hours ago and I decided that I won't let anyone know that I'm home so I can just putter away here. And that's the plan. We had some parts turn up while I was away, mainly the um, thermostat housing. And I've got a thermostat here to go in it. So we'll, I actually haven't got any gaskets, but I'll make some up. Um, and that's got to go in here and I've got to clean out some threads and clean up that face a little so it'll take a gasket and a little bit of silicon gasket maker is what I use and then I've got a, a new rubber for the top radiator hose and then we'll just progress along I've got a new distributor cap coming hadn't arrived yet the little machine runs really well in spite of all of those slight issues but there's not enough room for us both in here really and it's very a very small little tractor so anyway I'll pop you somewhere where you might be able to see what's going on been progressing along I've got the new part in but there is just one little sticky problem and I, maybe I'll find out I've done something wrong further down the track but with that rod in where it's supposed to go that's your throttle action so that turns like that and it's a very neat fit but with that in the right position the thermostat housing doesn't fit flush with the head it's bearing heavily on the back and I'm not going to tighten it up because I'm not happy with it so until I see something else obvious I'm just going to take this housing out again and drill it so that it will allow the rod to go through it with, without any side play in it um, but I'll be able to change the angle um, a little bit more like that so that's the plan and all of you out there throwing things at the TV screen don't do it you never know I might wake up to myself and realize what the problem is but in the meantime I can only tell you what's going on
got a bit of a problem. The gaskets didn't come with the bits and pieces that I ordered, but I've got some old gasket paper here that's about, I don't know how many, probably 20, maybe 30 years old, very stiff and very hard, but it's the right thickness. We've got some other stuff that's quite thin, that's more recent. But I'm going to try and rejuvenate this, and one of the ways you can do it is to just wet it up. I'll just sit you here, and it won't matter if I tear a bit of it off. And that'll do just fine. It's quite a bit of history and all that dust. And I'll just, I'll just wet it up. And we'll just let it sit for a while, but it's already starting to become pliable and not, not so tightly wound. The reason for that is I'm going to try and tap out a new gasket with a ball peen hammer, which is what we used to do last century. Um, but yeah, we, we used to use that this gasket paper all the time and now since it's gone out of vogue more so um, and we all get the bits and pieces that we need when we need them we tend not to do this anymore but as you can see that's that's almost usable now so I'll have a bit of a crack in a moment and see if I can tap out a new gasket for this thermostat housing There we go. So now, just got to do the same with the holes, hence the ball peen hammer. And now I've just got to cut the inside out and I have a, a brand new gasket. So I'll get a pair of scissors for that. Well, well actually, a trusty old Swiss army knife, a, little, a small version of it. See if that'll do it. I'll keep it. The scissors are in there somewhere. And I'll keep, oh, there they are. I hardly ever use them because I don't cut my fingernails anymore. Not that I ever used to. So what we can do is just pinch that over like that and then cut. Ah, the old shakes have got me again today, folks. But anyway. I'm just going to drive by wing up here.
that'll be more than adequate I believe. Well folks, about an hour has elapsed, the battery is on its last legs, so I'm just going to try and finish off. We've got the thermostat housing in, we've got the hoses put on, we've got the clamps put back on, the, there's water in the radiator, everything is right to go as far as I can tell. This throttle is back on and we're about to give her a try. Ooh. Clear prop. There you go. I reckon that'll be because I turned the fuel off. Uh, don't you love it? We'll just give this another try. Well, I'm real happy with that. Now I can concentrate on the tune-up side of things and I just set the points by eye the other day. Um, we'll get a new cap and we'll do some stuff to it and hopefully she'll run better.